There you have it. We have Stifler here. Ask the ladies I to rate their looks name. on a scale of one to ten. We'll go around the table, <clears throat> starting with you. Go ahead, keep. Three. Is that like a troll answer? Or? No, I don't want to say high and then get roasted, and I don't want to say low. Well, say, it. how about, say the truth. No, this is a little game. It's, I see the no game, game that people play. Zero game. These boys love to say, what do you think you are? She wishes she was a 10. She wishes she was a 9. Okay, so you do think you're a 10. No, I didn't say I was a 10. Oh, I got well. self-conscious You issues. just don't take it personally, what they say. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I also... I think you're a 10. You think I'm a 10? I think you're a 10. Thank you. Yeah. I think you're a 10, too. Kiss. What the <laughs> um, What? <laughs> so, do you want to just, instead of a troll answer, do you want to actually... I'll say five or six. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I think there's so many more beautiful women in the world, and okay, I think I'm okay. It's a game. It's a tired narrative. It's just. It really isn't. It is. It your, is. Your own self assess Your own self assessment of your physical attractiveness is quite crucial when it comes to dating. If you think you're hot shit, if you think you're a ten, whether you're a guy or a girl, this happens more so to men. But you're gonna face plant into reality. If you think you're hot shit, and you're not reality is going to come so let Especially people face men. plant let people face plant what do you mean it's life let, life teaches you yeah but why be delusional it's, it's a tired you don't it's have to be deluded it great. is tired you ask it every show delusional. you don't ask about emotional availability or maturity you know you don't mix it up at all it's just it's the same thing when guys ask what do you bring that to the table it's just and even guys who know game tell will tell you this they will tell you this it's not coming from a man or a straight man but men who know game know that it's essentially a setup and they're placing themselves above you and you below and maybe i'm not saying all men that ask that question know that or are aware of that but a lot of them are that's where it started it's it's a power struggle it's a power we're, we're talking about dating so it is kind of relevant to, to dating what if Cause, it changes? Because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like a 10 today. I'm super confident, love myself. And it's not about your I'm confidence. Like, I'm a it's three. just three. I look like a troll, feel like a troll. I feel like it changes and fluctuates too. It's just predictable. You you say something low, okay, you're humble. You say something high, they roast you. It's it just seems pointless and tired. So it's really not pointless. Yeah, I don't I don't give much energy to things that I don't think have much value. So I'm not gonna. So answer. you you think. L well, this rating might, looks I don't think really has much value. I, I do, you, do you think looks is an important is not an important factor when it comes to dating? For most people, to an extent, it is yes. But we don't need to play this game of like it just feels so. It's just so juvenile. It really. How is it juvenile? It, Would you date a guy who's shorter than you? No. That's quite literally a measurement. I'm five feet tall. That's a man could still be shorter than you. And I assume you have a, a preference for ta the taller the better, I would imagine. Oh, uh, no, not necessarily. Um, taller than me would be great, but... Taller than me? Taller than me would oh, be Oh, taller great. than you. Yes. Okay, so you, if you had a guy who was 5'1 next to a guy who's 6 feet, all things being equal, which do you pick? If everything was absolutely equal? Sure. They're literally the exact same person, but a height difference? Well, sure. naturally, the taller person. Okay, so height matters which is quite literally a measurement, a numerical measurement. I've only dated short kings. That's I'm not bullshit. saying that looks don't That's matter. Bullshit. I don't mean to, they just gravitate Both towards across me. Across the board, like, looks in general matter to most people. You can <laughs> get into a relationship. Hold on, just Lord a second. Girls, you are all pretty sure. But the only Nick, one just there who is a ten is Maddie, especially as she is sitting in the correct place, D. The Yo, Swordless, thank place. you, man. Very much appreciated. That's our homie from, uh, from uh, overseas. Good to see you in the chat, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, go ahead. I, I don't give energy to things I don't think are important, like a, a scale, a rating scale. But So you were saying that looks aren't that important? Looks are, to an extent, for most people, important okay. in dating, but delegating it into this scale and asking it over and over, it's just, it's not... It's not helpful. It's super it's harmful. helpful. It's actually very, very helpful. It's and I can explain helpful. it to you, but it's I do like to give people an opportunity to answer before I get into it. But it's, it's not harmful. Helpful. It's what? It's not helpful. To know how you're, where you land in the sexual or dating marketplace when it comes to your physical appearance? Yes. 
Don't you think in order to have a fair assessment of the type of guy that you can get, you need to have an accurate self-assessment of the type of woman you are when it comes to your looks and to your personality? Sure, but it's not just looks and you guys really only do the scale based on looks. Looks it's based is based on extreme. emotional uh, availability and maturity and mentality your daily life whether you have integrity or not and the same old tired question is about looks it's just like if you this is what i the you issue the here towards you a little bit the issue here is that um you it's a dating podcast Correct. but you're not really going any deeper than surface level on so many of these topics. We go, we go pretty so deep. so surface level on we go a lot of it. Well, speaking of surface level, um, well, hold on. First off, I would just say to something that you'd said earlier, looks is, I would say, the, one of the ultimate things that matters when it comes to dating. If you don't have physical attractiveness, nothing gets off the ground. Yeah. So looks is incredibly important. But, so you're saying that this question is perhaps superficial. Is that correct? I'll get to you in a sec. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just... Can you speak yeah. straight into the mic, please? Yes, it's superficial. And you said it's... The conversations we have on the show is very surface level. A we need to them, be deeper. Yes, we need to go deeper, I think. If you're, if you're looking for real change and not just entertainment and hits of entertainment and feeding people's egos, then... Y you're just giving the same old tired narrative. People are rating each other's looks. You're not really helping people at large find a partner that is going to be solid for them when you're just reiterating the same narrative on physical attractiveness. What is the scale? It's the same question when men ask, what do you bring to the table? Just, I mean, You object to the question of men yes, asking Yes, I do what? not. It's already, I'm not interested. If you're asking me... That's a pretty reasonable question. I understand from like a more like superficial level what they're saying. Like, is this connection going to be reciprocal? But... Over time, men have started to ask this question to essentially have the woman already like subservient and just essentially explaining what, what she has to offer. Like it's instead of getting to know somebody and not like drilling them with an unequal like power dynamic. Unequal power dynamic. Yes. By asking what do you mean what by... What do you bring to the table? It's already like this expectation Is that a common... You do you guys something. get asked I, I that get question? I get that a lot. You get yeah. it a lot? I'm not I, saying you never, don't get it a I've lot, especially that. now since it's been, been regurgitated. The, but since it's been regurgitated over and over on a lot of these shows, of course you're well, going you to Well, are you... Hold on. This question that you're referring to, what do you bring to the table? Are you talking within the context you're like one-on-one -on, -one on a date with a guy? Because we are on a dating panel here. I'm not on a date with any of you. So we are having like... We can have meta conversations like this, but... Right, when you're on a date. Like, if somebody were to okay, ask Okay, we're me, not on a date right now. We're on a dating panel where we're talking about dating-related things. So Yeah, no, I understand it's within, this. I, I really had no intention of asking what you bring to the table, but perhaps it's a good question I ought to ask, but we can bring it back to the rating thing. Yeah, so no, I'm just talking about jading, dating in general. I'm not talking about you asking me specifically, obviously. Okay. <laughs> um, I just, that's an immediate red flag. I already know that he is like somewhat programmed by red pill rhetoric. And so it's just, I'm not interested because typically relationships end how they what? begin. And that's just, it's a red flag. Ladies, you need unsolicited not, advice, a, a guy, it's a red flag. A guy need not even be red pill to ask such a question. question. Wait, what's a red A guy, pill? like Look, a normal dude who's never even heard about terms. red pill. Hold on. A, a guy who's not even heard about red pill could ask somebody, so like, what do you bring to the table? It, it would be extremely rare before ever any of this rhetoric was spread. It's, it's not common. I've, but don't you expect not? when you're on a date and you're interested in a man that he has something that he has to bring to the table? Don't you expect him to bring something to the table? So therefore, don't you think that there should be some kind of equal um like it's fair for him yeah like some kind as well yeah 100 yeah like yeah. he has mm -hmm. things that he wants and he has things that he thinks you know like are good for his life and mm -hmm. some kind of woman that he's looking for so therefore isn't it a fair question to simply say well, well you know you can phrase it however you want maybe it's not what do you bring to the table but maybe it's what kind of woman are you what right. what are you 
how how are you going to nurture me? How are you going to nurture our kids? Like, I think there's a lot of things that a woman can bring to the table, and therefore, we should we should know that, and we should be able to say that when we're on a date. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm not like saying that this is necessarily like the worst thing ever when you're coming at it from a more balanced place but specifically this community the and i get it you want reciprocity you want equal give and take but to when men ask this question i it's already the little red that essentially Alvin is Sam telling you that they're the into this coach. type the of reason rhetoric. why men ask what women bring to the table is because society and women place a burden of performance on men to produce but women somehow believe she gets a free ride off of a man's hard work. Well put, Alvin Sam. That was lovely. Continue with your point. Go ahead. Um, nobody's assuming that they get a free ride off of a man's hard work. It's about reciprocity. This specific question, and I could say it over and over again, and it's You've 